Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I love Loopy's Crochet and Treasures. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tracy and I live in Alabama. And I love everything to do with yarn and crochet and all that good stuff. I wish I knew how to knit, but I don't. Uh, I want to welcome my new subscribers. I saw I have a couple of new subscribers and I just want to thank you for being with me. And, uh, and I hope you'll stay. And I want to thank the ones who always come back and watch my videos because it really means a lot to me. But today I got a couple of hauls to show you, yarn hauls. I have a thrift store find I'd like to show you. And I have some uh, finished objects and I have some, I have a whip, a whip, a whip, a whip. <laughs> but anyway, so I hope you'll stay and see what all I got going on. Um... I guess I'll show you first my uh, work in progress. Uh, I've gotten this yarn from um, Hobium. You know, I hadn't, I think this was the first time I ever ordered from Hobium. And um, so I got me some of this Etrafield uh, Republic. It's got Republic, Republic on it. And it's their Etrafield. And uh, I hope the lighting is good and you can see it. But I've been wanting to try this yarn. Um, it's 100% recycled cotton. And it, it don't tell you how many yards is on here, but it's a big cake. And those are some beautiful colors. And so I'm making this crochet uh, shawl by Crochet, G, crochet with Gigi. I can't remember if I've made it before or not, but I, I may have. But anyway, so this is how far I've gotten on it. It's very lacy and open. It's uh, going to be a very, very pretty shawl. And so that's how far I've gotten on it. Um, so let's see. And I'm using my little um, stitch marker that Barbara my friend from Florida gave me. It's a little seahorse. But uh, I wanted to show that to y'all. It's going to be really nice once it's finished. I love the open openness to it. But I'll be glad when I get to the lighter color in there. It's going to be really pretty. It's got some light blue and yellow. So there you go. That's what I'm working on. And I'm using, because this is very thin yarn, I guess it's like a one, and I, I'm using an elf, elf uh, hook on it, but I wanted to show y'all that. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, but I finished uh, this by Crystal over at Bagel Day Crochet. Um, she knitted a hat to go with this on her Addy machine, but she gave us a... A pattern to, that would go with it and crochet that she already had up and um I have a little head so I had to make my hat a little smaller um, but I like it I like the way it fits and I love this and my daughter my oldest daughter seen it she said mama that is just beautiful but this is the cowl and she, I just love it, y'all. Now, I don't look good in hats and, and um, because I'm, I just don't. But I really like this hat, and I love this. And I made this out of that cookie yarn from um, Hobie. But isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And um, what was the color? Seemed like I brought it in here, but maybe I didn't. But it's the cookie yarn um, from um, Hobie. But hold on one minute, and I'll get it so I could show it to y'all because I love it. I love that yarn. It's just across the way in my bedroom. <laughs> But here it is. It's the cookie yarn. And uh, it's from Hobie. And this is, uh, I don't tell you the colorway. It just says uh, color number 46222. And, uh, but I love those colors. So that's what I made it out of. So Crystal, I love this. 
and I'm going to be making more of them because my oldest daughter, she really liked it too. And like Crystal was saying, it kind of looks like a little dress, <laughs> like a little, don't have a sleeves in it, little dress, but it is just nice. And I really love the way it come out with that cookie yarn. And um, so I've finished that. And I'll leave uh, her uh, tutorial in the in the description box down below this video. I'll show you the hat up closer. I'll put my little tag on it. So pretty. Love those colors. Okay. Now, let's see. I think that's it as far as the crochet part goes. But uh, I'm going to show y'all uh, a couple of things that I made that I'm putting in my Etsy shop. Just in case you're interested in it. And I'll leave them in the description box. But I got me some new beads. And I love turquoise and I love yellow. And so I made that. So, so, so pretty. And um, with the brown. And then I made it in the turquoise and the mustard color with the blue and the yellow beads. So pretty. So I'm going to be putting these on my Etsy shop. And then I'm going to come around, I guess, where you could see a little bit closer. Um, I don't like the camera right in my face, so. I might be back a little bit more, but I'm going to show y'all some stitch markers that I made, and I wanted to get up closer. I have found some little charms that have uh, the um, signs on them. Can you see it? So that sun is so, so bright, but... This is my Aquarius, and that's my stone, my uh, sign. And so I put the purple uh, stones on there, the amethyst. Very nice glass stones. But uh, I'm going to be putting those in my Etsy shop if, if anybody's interested. And then I, I got, I hadn't made them all yet, the ones with the signs. But this is Pisces. So pretty. Excuse my shaky, shakiness. And then this is, uh, this is Aries. It's the diamonds. And they're all got lever back hooks. And then this one is, um, this is Libra. I love this stone. It, it goes on the side like, but it's the pink color. Very pretty. I hope it's showing up. And then, um, then here is here is Taurus. It's got the green. And then I have the Sagittarius with the blue topaz, or what not topaz, but um, it's the blue color. Got the little angel on it. I hope it's focusing. Very good. You can see them better on my Etsy shop. Um, I think that's it. I think I showed you the green one, the Taurus. Yeah. And then I saw these little cat charms. And y'all, they are so cute. I had to get them. It's got the little cat faces on them. But, that one's not wanting to turn around right. But they are so, well, Lord, let me turn it around this way. 
so stinking my hands are dry so overlook them so stinking cute look at those spaces isn't that pretty and there's that one and I got them on the gold lever backs and the little shawl pins. And then I have this one um, with, with the little teacup on it. So cute. So cute. They're pink, but it's got the little, the little teacup on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had it up there. Y'all are probably saying, well, we can't see that. And then this pretty little shaker ball. Now I think I'm too close. They probably might would have showed up better if I held them back, huh? But anyway, those. So, and I got some more I hadn't finished. But I'm going to be putting them on my Etsy shop if anybody's interested in them. But I love them necklaces with that blue and and um, yellow is like a mustard color. Uh, okay, well, I went to Ollie's. And uh, they had some yarn there, so I got me some. And it's they were $1.99, and it's uh, Red Heart with Love Metallic. And the color charcoal. So $1.99 for, uh, let's see if it's got a yardage on it. It's 99% acrylic and 1% other fibers. Uh, machine wash and dry. Some medium weight, but I don't see the yardage on it. Oh, 200 yards. But isn't that pretty? I got two of those, and then I got one in the black. But it's with love. If y'all have the Ollie's, you might want to check them out. And then I got it in the white. So pretty. And let's see. I think that's it. That color. But then they had these, um, excuse me a minute. Nose itches. Then they had Simply Soft Karen for $1.99. And this is the color uh, avocado. And these have uh, 204 yards. And I got two of these in that color. Avocado colors. Karen Simply Soft. So that's what I got at Ollie's. And then I, and I got a yarn haul here. I, I've only ordered from this company like one other time. But they was having a sale. So I ordered from them again. But uh. I went to the thrift store and I found a couple of, excuse me a minute, I got too much stuff going on here, don't I? I found these two crochet books. No, I didn't get this at the thrift store. I got this at Ollie's. Ollie's for $2.99 and it's Simply Sweet Crochet. And, um, and then they had one on uh, crocheting with beads uh, with the necklaces and things with covered with the beads all over a little different than what I'm used to doing but I thought I might give it a shot looking at it and see but this little book has so many cute things in there um, for little kids so cute um, I want to make my little granddaughter that hat, put, put the pink on it for Valentine's Day. But, so, I got those two books. But this is what I found at the thrift store. It's this beautiful angel. And I got her for $9. Look at her, y'all. She's just gorgeous. I was so excited to find her. Look at her wings and the little marble top marble looking things on her but she's beautiful i love that cracked uh chabby cheek looking stuff so pretty so i got her at the thrift store for nine dollars i had to have her okay i ordered some yarn from webs 
and I wanted to open it with y'all so you could see the my reaction to it when I first opened it. Um, but I've ordered from them one other time, and I love their yarn that I got from them. But they were having a really good sale. So I wanted to try some more of their yarn. Oh my goodness. I mean, oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful yarn. Oh man. I hope it tells me the prices of it. Oh, I think it will. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is fabulous. This is Trendsetter Yarns Streamers, 100% cotton, 880 yards, and it's made in Turkey. And it's www.trendsetteryarns.com. Uh, washed by hand in cold water with a mild soap. Um, and this is color number eight. 100% cotton, made in Turkey. Beautiful. It don't have the color name on it. It's just got color number eight. Look. Now y'all tell me that ain't beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's gorgeous. My colors. And then this one is color number six. It's the same thing. But look at those colors. Gorgeous. And let's see. Let me see how much these were. These were $16.99 for one of them. But that's a lot of yardage and very nice yarn. So I think it's worth it. Um, so I got those two. Then I got, what is this? Oh, and they come in little bags. Oh, y'all. And a little wooden. This is Lana Grossa. Lana Grossa. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's got a little wooden um, charm thing on it. And it comes in these beautiful bags. Oh, that's the little pull. Gives you the center pull. It's a little wooden thing I could use. Y'all, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mirror mirror shades. Um and it's color color number 703. It's Lana L A N A or Lana Lana. And it's G-R-O-S-S-A. Grossa. And look at those colors. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Mirror shades. Look at the shawl. Oh my gosh. Oh, that lighting is horrible. And it come in its little bag. And these were uh, $15.99. So that ain't bad. Did I tell you how many yards was on it? It's 50% virgin wool and 50% cotton made in Italy. Uh, it does, it's 760 meters, I think it says. That's what that is. So it's probably about 800 yards. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use it. And then I got one more. Just like it. I mean, you know, the same yarn, but a different color. Oh my gosh, this is, this is beautiful. And every once in a while, I don't mind spending a little bit more for better yarns and prettier <laughs> you know I, I save up my money and for things like this but 
But that's a good deal, I think, for that amount of yarn. And oh my gosh. And the it's so soft, y'all. This is the same thing. It says S-C-H-U-R-W-O-L-L-E, virgin wool. And B-A, is, is that the B-A-M-U-M-W-O-L-L-E cotton? I don't know. This is color number 708. Oh, it's beautiful. Little wooden. Beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. I need to look at the camera to make sure I'm showing y'all this stuff right. I'll be getting a comment. I said it. I didn't show it. I'm going to try to do better on my video. Let's see. Oh, I got another one. No, I got two of those. Of the, uh, of the number. Seven oh three. Yeah, I got two of those, so I could make me a humongous shawl. But I love those colors. These are my colors, y'all. I love it. It's like orange and terracotta and brown, and it's just beautiful. Kind of a reddish color to it. Then I got I got two of these, and they're called. Ooh, I'm going to have to just show it to y'all. But these were $7.49. But it's cotton. It's 40% cotton, 45% uh, viscose, and a 15% polymide. <sighs> that is beautiful. This is the name of it. Look at those colors. Let's see, color number 14. Made in Italy, 147 yards. I got two of them. Because I just had to try it. That is a little pricey, but I just had to try it. And I love it. Then I got... Two of these. Only got two more after this. This is Maypole DK, made in China for Euro yarns. Uh, I'm real crazy about the feel of this. Fun slides the color, and it is 100% polyester, 262 yards, or four medium weight. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's it's soft, but not as soft as the others. It's Euro Baby. And that's the colors. So they were $7.49. And then, no, 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 no. These wasn't $7.49. These were $4.69. It was a closeout. And it's Baby May, Maypole DK. Alright, got those two. And then these are the last two I got. Oh, that's pretty. This is Jelly Beans. 75% acrylic and 25% wool. It's got Plymouth yarn on here. It's now in a bigger ball, it says. So cute. I love that. Jelly Beans. And it is color number 2382. And it's machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble dry low, made in Turkey. 214 yards per skein. And I paid $4.79 a piece. Look, ain't that cute? Look how pretty. I love it. 
So I ordered these y'all from Webb's. Um, Webb's America's Yarn Store in East Hampton, MA. Is that Maine or Massachusetts? Anyway, that's where they're located. And it didn't take me too long to get my order. But y'all, I love everything in it. But now I really love these mirror shades and the trendsetter streamers. Those are, and, and this too, but this was a little pricey for the amountage that you get. But I'm telling you, it's beautiful. It's, it's got a, a, it glistens a little bit. So pretty. But that's it, y'all. I wanted to share that with y'all. Uh, I can't wait to make something with it. I need if, if y'all know of any pretty shawl patterns um, that aren't real hard uh, that I could use some of this yarn for, leave it in the comment box down below. And uh, I just appreciate y'all spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Go check out Webs. I think they're having, I don't know if it's the same sale that's going on, but they are having a sale. And they do have some beautiful yarns. And uh, no, the prices to me aren't too, too bad. Um, especially for the quality of this yarn and the feel of it. It's just amazing. And the colors, and you get a lot of it in these cakes. And if you like working with thin weight yarn, like these, it's like a one. Uh, it don't say the size, but it's like a one. Um, it's not very thick. It's kind of like um, the the feel ain't like this, but it's kind of the same um, thickness as the Hobie's um, Malibu yarns and their cotton their cotton swirls. Um, kind of like that and the it's a wrap rainbow type feel uh, but a little bit softer uh, very pretty but I'm going to get off of here y'all and I hope y'all have a wonderful blessed week I hope to be back on again soon don't forget to check out my Etsy shop I, uh, I'm going to put a few new things on there if you're interested and I hope you have a wonderful week and I love y'all and thank you again for spending time with me and I'll leave a, um, a link to the to Crystal's tutorial and also the shawl that I'm making by Crochet by, with Gigi. So we'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.